You do stuff that involves wires. Yeah, and SIM cards. So the thing here is that uh, 3 billion SIM cards are distributed every year by, by the mobile network operators. And this application that you put in the SIM cards can work across many different mobile phones and terminals. So the SIM card platform is very interesting for the mobile operators. Now the thing here is that next generation SIM cards will have Java Card 3. And with multi-threading, with servlet engine, and will basically be a TCP IP connected network node. Right, so people are going to be writing a lot more advanced applications in, these, in this new generation of SIM cards. Sure. And we also see that we can have sensors directly embedded inside the SIM cards. So we can have motion sensors, we can have a Wi-Fi radio directly inside the SIM card. Right. So the idea basically with uh, this uh, placing platform is that we want to have a platform where every developer can help us and find out what we can do with next generation SIM cards. So the idea is basically that you take your own SIM card, you insert it into the placing board, and then you take the placing board and add it on top on the Sunspot platform. And what that basically enables us is to have a Sunspot that acts as a SIM card. So we can basically put Java Card 3 applications on the Sunspot, and they have access to motion sensing, they have access to wireless networking, and we're basically able to experiment with SIM cards that can communicate directly. Right, and this is, and this is w with SIM cards that are actually live in a phone as opposed to just emulators of SIM cards. Sure. And, and, and you, you get to use all the debugging facilities that come with, with, the, with, with the sunspot. I mean, I mean, people in general have not been able to set breakpoints in live SIM cards. And with this, they can. Yeah. And it also opens the SIM cards to normal developers. You don't have to be a mobile network operator to play with this. You can just take your own SIM card and your own SIM card will be used for the authentication toward the mobile network and the rest of the applications are resided in the Java Card 3 environment on the Sunspots. So it's kind of hard to see a SIM card doing something but you guys actually put something together here. Yes, yeah, so what we basically have here is that we have added the play SIM board on top of the Sunspot platform and we have a SIM card inserted into the placing board, and we have connected it to a normal uh, Sony Ericsson phone. So let us see if we can get this uh, to work. Right, so, you, so you've got another uh, cell phone here with another, SIM card, with another SIM card, and so these are two, two phones that are going to talk to each other, not using the phone side of things, but using the SIM card. Sure. So here I have a sunspot on the connected to another phone. And now you can see we are on the AT&T network and we are actually talking to the sunspot and the sunspot has allowed us access to the AT&T network. Now I can take this other sunspot and I can actually see if I can trigger using the accelerometer inside this sunspot. I can trigger a menu on this phone. So let us see if we can get some action on the screen here. which is actually triggered directly from this sunspot. There is a short delay here because there is a lot of communication going back and forth here. So now it said motion detected. Right. It's basically triggered from this device wirelessly. So here we have a platform where we can basically experiment with SIM card embedded sensors. And you can basically, as the Sunspot platform is an extensible platform, we can put on add-on board with different features. So we can, for instance, put on, put on an add-on board with GPS, and then we have a GPS-enabled SIM card. Yeah, so, so the kind of things that people are going to be able to do inside the SIM cards is getting, getting really, really interesting. They're becoming much more debuggable, much more approachable, and this is something that nobody's ever, ever been able to do before. I mean setting a breakpoint not just in the cell phone, which we've been able to do for a few years, yeah. but in the SIM card on the cell phone. Sure, and all the communication between the SIM card and the terminal goes via the Sunspot. So the, as a developer on the Sunspot, 
you have completely control of the communication between the SIM card and the mobile phone. And you can basically have full freedom to play around.